G'day, welcome to my channel. I'm Creative Flair and this is the series where we take a virtual stroll around Erinsborough and get to know Australia's favourite neighbours. We are even going back to neighbours' humble beginnings. Yes, that's right. The mid-80s. In today's video, I get to share some exciting news, Have you heard the news about Australia's most iconic drama. Although by now, it might be as old as the theme tune itself. Neighbours, everybody needs good neighbours. Now, I may be a little late to the party. Whose is that? It's not me. But whoever said I was organised? We made it, huh? Well, I'm glad to find you made it. They're lying. Anyway, I'm here now. And this is my take on what's happened so far in the lead up to September 18. After 37 years, Aussies, along with the Brit and our other international friends, said goodbye to Australia's favourite neighbours. Oh, we're not going to be watching Australia's Funniest Home Mullets. <laughs> Fashionably unkempt to what it is today. This is going to hurt you a lot more than it's going to hurt me. <laughs> when UK investor Channel 5 issued the entire of Erinsborough an eviction notice. Then, the week of the 28th of July 2022, the Australian Network 10 rolled out the final three episodes with Channel 5 to follow suit the next day. Over a million viewers worldwide tuned in despite the adage who even watches Neighbours anymore. Plus the ongoing shift away from mainstream legacy media to online media platforms. The finale comprised of episodes 8901, 8902 and 8903 and saw the return of the show's two biggest exports, Jason Donovan and Kylie Minogue. Home sweet home. Mm. As fan favourites, Scott and Charlene. Charlene, I know exactly what you're thinking. Hey! Along with many more, both on set and across the globe. Oh, Mikey! No way! Congratulations! Hello, Ramsey Street! The holy matrimony! And it's neighbor here. There was a time when I had designs on Toadie. It's me, Shazza. Who wants to hear from their ex on their wedding day? Chocolera. I love you, Ned. Love you, son. Mwah. When we last saw our favourite Ramsey Street residents, most of the street were on the verge of selling up and moving away. No one's here. But many changed their minds and decided to stay. I guess we're not going anywhere, are we? Cody and Melanie were wed. I do! <laughs> Paul and Therese finally got their act together with Paul seeing the error of his ways. I... I... I accept you. You're it for me. Who knew? And decided to really give their relationship a go. Mike and Plain Jane's super brain also reunited after decades apart. And Susan Kennedy, humbled with the task of writing the introduction to the new and improved Ramsey Street history book. I think I know what I want to write penned it perfectly. The street always has a way of bringing people back. Then I think of the people who can't come back. The people gone too soon, 
and their legacy still lives on today. I think you have to acknowledge everything, celebrate it all. Everyone deserves a place in the history of Ramsey Street. Together, Susan. we have been Susan. the perfect blend. It really was the perfect blend. Where were you just now? I was home. Surely this was the perfect end of Neighbours, right? The final goodbye? Then one by one, all of the Ramsey Street houses on Pinot Court sold for upwards of 1.6 million Australian dollars after the Australian government denied the street's heritage listing bid. What I wouldn't give to see inside some of these houses again. Just when we thought the fate of neighbours was signed, sealed and all but delivered, Amazon rode in to save the sets from demolition and revive the show. And this would mark the second time since the mid 80s that Neighbours had dodged the axing bullet. And now a new chapter is upon us with all the elements required to ensure that Neighbours enters fans' hearts with a bang. Can you believe? I think we're actually gonna pull this off. <laughs> and it's gonna be perfect. We'll make new memories. What's in store for the first episodes? Be really nice to catch up. I'd like that. Neighbours has teased a wedding, a funeral, the return of so many favorites. I'm back. A new home on freebie, and enough fresh stories to promise the start of something new, all while keeping the same daily soap format. On channel 10, and online on 10 Play here in Australia. Is it okay to say that I'm bummed that we don't get freebie here in Australia? Neighbours producers have released teaser trailers and film stills, hinting just who will be back. Guy Pearce is confirmed to return as a recurring guest, hinting at the continued pairing of Mike and Jane. Also, Misha Barton, from the OC is joining the cast as a recurring guest. Why didn't you tell me who you are? Because she is a spy. Fan favorites, the Kennedys, Toadie, Melanie, Mackenzie, Paul Robinson, Therese, Daniel and Imogen, Aaron and David, and Harold are among the residents returning to our favorite little cul-de-sac. I think they call it making an entrance. Fans have speculated the unusual pairing of Toadie and Therese. What's up with that? Also, another Kennedy split. I'm worried about what I'll say. I'm worried that there'll be no coming back from it. Oh, I trusted you. Is it? <laughs> what has Carl done this time? And sadly, the death of longtime favourite Jelly Belly, Harold Bishop. It's about Harold. I can't make it stop. Making his return short lived. The new episodes are set two years on from the 2022 finale. Gosh, a lot's happened in the last two years. And are due to drop on freebie on the 18th of September. We're coming back on Amazon Freebie. To coincide with the launch of the episodes on Channel 10 here in Australia. Hang on, gonna have to check my diary. All right, I'll make myself available. Happy? That concludes this episode of my Neighbours series spanning nearly 40 years of drama. If you like this video and wish to see more content like this on my channel, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell for notifications on future videos. Also, you can drop a comment down below and let me know your favorite characters and storylines you wish for me to dive into. Until then, take care, I'm Creative Flair. Mm -hmm.